Hollywood. What kind, what kind of movies would you make if you were Latina producer? A Mexican movie, and you know what? I don't think other people should be in it that aren't Mexican. We wish, I wish to have to be a Hispanic person who was born out of, out of this town and his parents are Mexican. They don't have to be born in here or in Mexico. You would like to see them what? Like, I like to see them, their pimples out there, what they look like. Come on, see people look like them, right? My name is Laura Donnelly. The things we teach uh, the girls in Club Lantanitas are related to media and technology. Um, our focus is on journalism. We, you know, in our research in making Latinitas magazine, what we found out is that there is such a small representation of Hispanics in media. Okay, so how do you alleviate that? You, you need to generate a pretty much an army of Latinas to get out there and be part of mainstream media. Sure. So, <laughs> What you're going to do with your sites is you're going to, this is going to be, we're going to start out and it's just going to be your site and your personal magazine, so, and then in the future we're going to add more stuff to it. So whatever you pick for this name is going to be what your website is uh, going to be called. So you may want to do like Laura and do your last name. Okay. What I like about it to do is like you get to do lots of things, especially like about it is about the computer because, um, I really don't, I have a computer here, but I don't have internet in it, and my family re rarely has internet, and the Hispanic girls, they don't go to the websites they want to every day, and in Latinita, we get to do it every Monday. I'm Alicia Rascon, and I'm the co-founder of Latinitas. Well, one of the first things that we started the school year off with was just teaching them a little bit about media representation and just a little bit about um, media awareness. So having them look critically at the images that they're seeing and kind of um, reading the messages and trying to really understand this. Uh, Do you think Britney no. Spears would be as popular as she is if she wasn't right. brown? No. Um, popular for the fake Now she's brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, she is Nipla. Who do you think of when I say, who are the beautiful women out there in the movies? Me. It's important that the girls are actually seeing um, women other than me with complexions different than me who can be role models to them and they can also see themselves in their shoes. Hi, Dr. I'm Michelle Bias and I really enjoyed you coming over uh, to get a tour of KXA and News 36. I think your group is wonderful. I actually checked out your website. And I was so impressed. If journalism is something you really want to do, remember you have to be a great writer. It's not just about being on TV or being in front of a camera. You have to be a great storyteller and a hard worker. So if you stay with it and work hard, you're going to do whatever you want. Good luck. My name is Karina Vasquez, and I'm in the seventh grade. I like writing a lot, and my mom says that um, it's good because I like talking a lot also, so I can like express my feelings in it. And I like it because we get to write about stories, but we also get to have fun, so it's kind of like both things. Destiny's going to read it. Food, special tradition. You're supposed to say it. Ten things of being a Latinista, or whatever. Food, special tradition. Different kind of food. Different kinds of food. People's Special traditions, celebrations, color, color of skin, race. <laughs> color of skin, which is race, families, cultures, dancing, and beauty. 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 The beauty okay, so all those things that you like about being Latina or Hispanic or Chicana or Mexicana or Mexican or Mexican American. I was um, most um, enchanted by the idea that the, the girls were truly cognitive, not only about their absence in media or their how they're portrayed in media but what they know about media and, and what, you know, they do already have some filters on about what the media is telling them. <laughs> no, I go for it. I go for John Kerry. John Kerry. Because, because he's going to try changing the world, and George Bush, all he did was just made it into a big mistake. Hard drive. Who told you that? Or you can try and hear it on TV. <laughs> Something else I was so interested in is they really hate George Bush. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is like across the board for all Hispanics in Austin under the age of 12 who are female. Everyone I know goes for Carrie, except for yeah. Mary Jackson. Yes.
See, Jackie's different. My niece Rebecca, she first she had um, she did it too when all my sister's kids, they're five, they're four. Um, they got a, a um, they they got taken away from her, and then she drew um. She was in my niece Rebecca. She's she's the same age as me. She was in um, in CPS, and she drew this picture. And she said that no matter what happens, if they adopt her or whatever, that um, me, her, my nephew Eric will be united forever. And this is the picture of my cat, and I drew it. And then after that, we make it like this on this piece of wood. We just wrote ink on it, and then we put it on the paper, and then. Um, the story about him is this one, and my mom ran over him. And then uh, I drew the picture of my Virgin Mary, and I just drew this. Um, we took probably like two or three weeks to do it. And then that's, I think that's it. I'm working on my website, and I'm trying to put like things that teenagers and people would be interested in, so more people would visit it. If you were to talk about what we want to instill in them it'd be chispas, like a spark that gets them, you know, later in life when they're in a situation and someone says to them, hey, do you want to be part of this radio team? We're going to be doing a, a college radio team. That they realize, like, not only do they have the confidence, but they have the background, and they also, they have that chispas that says, you know, I can do this. I, I've done hard things before when I was a little kid, and, and I realized how fun and rewarding it was afterward. I wish we could go, like, on Saturdays or Sundays, Sundays also, because it's, like, so fun.